Hi, I've got Lady Command to uh, pray uh, Psalm uh, 91 to speak and pray Psalm 91 upon um, upon us, our families, um, the body of Christ. So I'll read. It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, with great confidence and on whom I rely. For He will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with His pinions, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the, nor of the destruction of sudden death that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, a dwelling place, no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him securely on high, because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him, no, never. No, never. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. With a long life I will satisfy him, and I will let him see my salvation. Amen. And I'm going to, if you want to agree with me now, as we pray. Um, Psalm 91 Lord I thank you that because we dwell underneath your shelter Lord that we are secure and rest underneath your shadow Lord whose power no enemy can withstand Lord we thank you that because you are our refuge and our fortress Lord that we are safe thank you Lord that because we trust in you with great confidence that you will save us from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pe pestilence. Thank you, Lord, that you cover us and completely protect us with your pinions, and under your wings we find refuge. Thank you, Lord, that your faithfulness is a shield and a wall. Thank you, Lord, that we will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Thank you, Lord, that we will, we will not be afraid of the destruction of sudden death that lays waste at noon. Thank you, Lord, that a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but danger will not come near us. And that we will only be spectators, Lord, with our eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked, as we watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Thank you, Lord, that because you have made, thank you, Lord, that because we have made you our refuge and the Most High, a dwelling place, that no evil will befall us, nor any plague come near our tent. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that you command your angels around us to protect and defend and guard us in all your ways, in all our ways of obedience and service. I'll say that one more time. Thank you, Lord, that you command your angels in regard to us to protect and defend and guard us in all our ways of obedience and service. Thank you, Lord, that they lift us up with their hands so that we will not strike our foot against a stone. Thank you, Lord, that we will tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent we will trample underfoot, Lord, because of you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, that because we set our love on you, that you will save us, that you will set us securely on high because we know your name and that you will never abandon us, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that when we call upon you, you will answer us. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us in trouble. Thank you, Lord, that you rescue and honour us. Thank you, Lord, that with a long life you will satisfy us and you will let us see your salvation in Jesus' name. Amen.
Tonight as you sleep, know that God is with you, that you're under the protection of Psalm 91. And if you haven't given your heart to the Lord yet, be encouraged to give your heart to Jesus. Be encouraged to come to the Lord. I'll leave the prayer underneath the uh, video of this uh, description of this video and uh, you can pray that prayer in your own time. But be encouraged to uh, come into alignment with the Lord. To get on the same page, excuse me, to get on the same page as the Lord. And we do that through repentance. We do that through um, coming to the Lord humbly. And just know that the Lord is with you and that, you know, you have security in him. You have security in the Lord. And be assured today that when you sleep, you're sleeping sweet. And you're sleeping safe and sound in the Lord's arms. In Jesus' name. Amen.